as Burkell. This is Macy Goldbach for three. And that's 14 straight games for Macy Goldbach with a three, which is the second longest active streak in the Centennial Conference. How about that? Okay, it's Cook. Great pass inside. Macy Goldbach, easy in off the window. And it's 11 to seven. Didn't look it there. Capizzi off the screen. She can shoot from deep. Banks it in. Anna Sophia Capizzi averaging six points a game. Off top set. Little screen and now goes back into the post. There she is again. Six for her. Boards down three. We're tied at 42. Anything you can do, I can do better. Is the motto of this game. Capizzi, will that continue? Yes, it will! How about this little flurry? What? No kickball. Goldbach Burkell all alone inside. 14 for Sierra Burkell. She scored pretty much all of them like that. Jersey. Not playing like a freshman. Burkell all alone for the lead again. You bet. She's got 18. And doesn't look like she's breaking a sweat. Going at it punch for punch. The first meeting ended in overtime. It was a one point forwards win. This one going down to the wire again. Goldbach for three. How about it? 14 for Goldbach. It's 56-54. Goldbach. Will the big players step up for the forwards in these critical moments? Burkell, Wetzel, Cook to beat the shot clock. Yes, sir! This guy has got to be quick. Wetzel, beat it, and scored! She was all alone, and she now has 10, 61, 54. Largest lead of the game for Haverford, and Catherine Bixby calls timeout. And that is that. Fords to 14 and 5. Increasing their lead atop the Centennial Conference. They are now 11 and 3.